You're listening to the Experiencing God Day by Day podcast, brought to you by Blackaby Ministries International. July 8th, a highway of holiness, Isaiah 35, verse 8. A road will be there and a way. It will be called the holy way. The unclean will not travel on it. But it will be for the one who walks the path. Even the fool will not go astray. The nation of Israel was designed to have a place where other nations of the world could come to worship the true God. The temple in Jerusalem was to be the center from which the good news of God's salvation would spread to every corner of the world. But those who were supposed to be God's people forsook him and practiced every kind of sin. Rather than being ambassadors for God, they disgraced his holy name. Rather than attracting the nations of the earth to God, they became stumbling blocks to those who were seeking the true God. The Israelites fell so far from God's original intent that God judged them and sent them into exile. Yet God promised that one day his people would be an avenue by which others could find salvation. It is God's desire that anywhere there is a Christian, God has a way for people to learn of his salvation. Romans 10, verses 14 and 15. Whenever an unbeliever meets a Christian, the unbeliever ought to be face to face with everything he needs to know in order to follow Christ. Sadly, however, Christians can be like the Israelites of Isaiah's day. We could be so involved in our sin that we are completely disoriented to God, ill-equipped to direct others to Him. If our lives are filled with hypocrisy, we may turn people away from God rather than helping them come to Him. If our lives are filled with doubt or anger, we will impede others from coming to Christ. Our lives ought to be a highway of holiness, providing easy access to God for anyone around us who seeks Him. Ask God to remove any obstacle in your life that hinders others from coming to know Jesus. This podcast is based on the book Experiencing God Day by Day by Henry and Richard Blackaby, published by B&H Publishing Group, music by Mark Brown.